Hi Sonakshi, hi Shahid, welcome hi. to our show. Thank you. Thank you. So you've done a spate of action films also, Sonakshi. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like you're the action girl? In this film, in yes this film? I do because I actually <laughs> get to do some action in this film where I'm uh, like breaking bottles on people's heads and slapping this poor boy. Actually it's not poor, he deserved every bit of it <laughs> <laughs> in the film for being such a mawali chape. <laughs> but has but he got a rowdiness out in you too, Prabhu sir? It was always there in me. It just needed it to be rowdy. Yeah, channelized properly and I think it's all come out in yeah. this film. So yeah, thanks to Prabhu sir. We believe he told you that you're going to be so tired after this film, you'll need a vacation. Is that true? Are you really? I mean, of course, right now you're very tired, I can see. <laughs> With all the promotions you've been doing, but really, while shooting the film, did it tire you out? Very tiring. Yeah. Very, very. Because we used to, um, almost every location, especially when we shot action, was about two hours away from where we were staying. Because it was meant to be in the middle of this yeah. barren land and it was meant to look very raw and rugged yeah. and not close to civilization, so to say. Plus, it was like 45, 46 degrees. Um, we were shooting. You know the thing with his action is that mm. it's extreme, it's, it's physical combat. His right. action is not about flying cars and there are no other elements. Right. Uh, it's which, raw action. Yeah, it's raw action. Yeah. It's gritty, grungy, right. hardcore, aggressive mm -hmm. action, you know. Um, so there's nothing else that he really needs to shoot with. So when I'm doing action, every day and every shot is with me. There'll probably be in about 10 or 12 days of action, mm. there'll probably be four hours that I won't be shooting. If you see the promos of the film, it's not as if I'm standing without clothes and I'm showing my body off, yeah. but there's a certain amount of roughness and rawness and hardness which needs to come across yeah. just by the character's personality. So I needed to make sure that I, I need to look extremely rough and hard, which is yeah. something I've not done yeah. before in yeah. this space at all. This is the first time I did action and I don't, like, like, like Sonakshi was also saying a little while back, she was saying that it feels like he's always been doing action. Yeah. Because I've done so much action in this one film. Yeah. It's like, you know, I've probably done what would happen in two or three films in Made just up one film. all the films, yeah. But tell me, you know, this was a, new, a fairly new space for you. This is something you haven't really done as much. Yeah. You're doing a lot of action. How, how comfortable are you in this space? I loved it. Yeah? You know, it's been 10 years I've been acting. Right. I've played around with different things and I've never really done it's an one thing haven't got into action film. Yeah, and it's, I don't know, I, I, I think... It's like this uh, alter ego of mine, which has got nothing to do with how I am because in personal life, I'm not somebody who's extremely aggressive or right. physical. Or I'm not like that. Right. Um, so it just brought out a side in me which, you know, maybe is there. And so I, I enjoyed it a lot mm. because it's not something that I see myself do yeah. in real life much. Yeah. We've also heard that Prabhu Deva's got a taskmaster. He is. Is he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a funny film. It's an action film. And how does he get, get you all to do all that? He is a taskmaster. I think when he wants to get the job done, he does it. I mean, he's... He's the kind of director who makes life so simple for mm. an actor. Like he enacts the entire scene for you and tells you, "This is how." Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, this is how I want you to do it. And if you put even one eyebrow up extra, no, he'll cut it and he'll retake it. Oh, really? So he's like he has a real eye for detail, and everything has to be in its place the way he's told you mm -hmm. to do it. So, now, Shahid, I was reading somewhere where you said that uh, you are at the stage where you really want to work with the kind of people you want to work with, and not focus as much on the script. No, I, what I mean, is that? you know, huh. that's what happens that when yeah. you say things that kind of get taken out of context. What I was trying to say is that my priority is the filmmaker. Hmm. Obviously, the script, the character, yeah. and, um, and you know, everything else is important, but my priority is the filmmaker. You hmm. know, I, we have to work with, invest in people, we have to invest in talent, we have to build relationships. Um, because after a script is written, you hmm. know, when a script is written, it's just, it's just words on paper, it's 2D. Right. That third dimension that hmm. comes into cinema. Um, comes from the people who the make it. The people you're working yeah, the with. People, yeah, the people that you work with. So yeah. that's something that I've learned with time. Earlier I would probably put the script at number one and then say the filmmaker. Yeah. But now it's kind of switched for me. I would, yeah. I mean, you, I cannot ever do a film I don't believe in. Because right. it's very important when I go on set for me to do a film which I'm really excited yeah. about. And for that I need to know what the script right. is. But uh, the filmmaker would be first priority, yes. Yeah. So now you know you like the queen of Masala <coughs> films, you've done all these movies which have really worked so well also. And then you also do a film like Lutera, right? What prompts you to do that? Instinct. Yeah. I felt good about it, I did it. Hmm. Um, it really moved me when I heard the narration and uh, I just didn't want to say no hmm. to that film because I felt that I could do the role. Um, and for a director like Vikramaditya Motwani to have seen that I could have probably fit into that character while I was only doing these commercial masala films. That also right. kind of gave me the strength, you know. Yeah. It was nice of him to have approached me. But did, did you at any point think of being repetitive and hence you want to, you know? Uh, no, that thought didn't cross my mind because uh, I love what I do. I like mm. the kind of films that I, 
do. I like watching them. I like being a part of them. So yeah. that that was no reason for me yeah. to yeah. do Lutera. It's just because I really liked what I heard. Mm -hmm. Now, I just I just heard you say that you haven't seen Shuli for the kind of movies that you do, which is so masala <laughs> and filmy. I mean, you know, I'm non-filmy. I must say, I've not grown up on films. I used to not. Yeah. I used to barely watch films. What have you grown up on? While growing, food <laughs> <laughs> and sports. It's a very weird combination, I know, but. Yeah, yeah, food and sports. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. So I used to But you weren't allowed or you just didn't interest no, no, you? No, why would I not be allowed yeah. to watch films? Uh, they didn't interest me uh, when wow. I was younger. So I used to watch, I've even, I've barely seen a few of my dad's films. Out of some 200 films he's done. Wow. I've seen like five, six Ginke. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've not grown up on films. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how then I'm so filmy now. Mm -hmm. but. It, in built in the blood <laughs> yeah <laughs> in your genes. what about you did you grow up on a lot of movies did you watch a lot of movies while growing up yeah 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 i used to love watching movies like that's why i wanted to become an actor because mm -hmm. first i fell in love with films and then i thought what can i do in films <laughs> and then i thought maybe i can act because when you go through that age now when yeah. you're 15 16 you think you're damn good looking and actually look like <laughs> shit you know so i went through that phase where i was like yeah man okay good looking ho main a hero banunga and when i see my pictures now na mere passport dog mein photo mera thinking ye upar wala socha karta tha main hero banunga so but yeah so then i don't know it just kind of happened you know and then i started like assisting my father in direction and then i started doing these ads and mm -hmm. videos and then i started getting offers and it just happened yeah. you know but yeah i mean i always wanted to be in films wow, so you film me from the start yeah pretty much yeah. i mean i wanted i wanted to be a part of films in some yeah. way you heard that you're going to go bold for a role tell yeah. us about that hyder how did you yeah. how, how did you get convinced to do that not much honestly it's quite a big I, step I, I must say yeah i mean now i've kind of realized that it's a really big step after everybody's, because everybody's about asking me about and they're in shock yeah. yeah i'm like dude i'm an actor and there's uh -huh. so many actors i mean if you especially in hollywood you see so many yeah. actors who done like Brad Pitt did it in exactly. Fight Club. Exactly, we do it there, but we don't Bruce see that Willis much happening here, and that's what's surprising. Pretty much permanently bald. Yeah. And you know, there's so many people. My trainer Abbas, who's mm -hmm. been training me for eight years now, Abbas Ali, he has this really cropped haircut where it's not bald, but he's got like really, 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 really short hair where you can see his scalp and stuff. So I actually thought it's really cool. I mm -hmm. thought it'd be really cool to do something like yeah. that. And uh, um, when I heard the script, I I I, I understood why Vishal sir wanted it. It's yeah. not forced. It's it's completely. Required for the situation in mm -hmm. the film. I, I'm not going to be bald in the whole film. There's okay. a certain portion of the film in which okay. I need to, you know, like not have hair. hair. Yeah. So yeah, so I did yeah. it, man. Now this film, Aar Rajkumar has some crazy songs. Mm -hmm. It was the most fun to shoot. Sorry. That one, that one is my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite, and that's, that's favorite. her favorite, yeah. and that's yeah. even Prabhu sir's favorite. It's yeah. everybody's yeah, favorite. It's everybody's favorite. And the other one. Marina. Yeah, you like that one? Yeah, I love that one because I think it's. The it's most Mawali four yeah. minutes I have ever spent in front of the camera. It's <laughs> mad. The dude yeah. is, he's like lost the plot. <laughs> he's like lost the plot. <laughs> and it starts with him like, doing like, uh. like this. Entering a middle of a bhaji market uh. and the girl is having naril pani out. Yeah. Then turning around and going, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the song starts. You can't get more that. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm having Naril Pani and I spit on her. Boom! What? Here, here, here. We know we we heard that you're reviving shotgun films. How involved will, will you be uh, in all of that? Uh, as much as I want to, uh, unfortunately, I I cannot be that involved because I have my other work commitments. Right. Yeah. Keeping me very busy, but uh, it's got an in in-house talent. It's in the yeah, very yeah. good. I, my services I will always be there as an actor. Good. Yeah. Not as anything more because I don't understand anything beyond my job, what I'm supposed yeah. to do. So uh, my brothers are handling it and um, the, it's in good hands. I'm mm -hmm. happy. What's the coolest thing about our Rajkumar? I think, uh, wow, it's really difficult to choose. So there's the dance, which I think is awesome. There's the action. But I think I choose the lines. I think the kind of things I mean, the that dialogues, says, the writing. The lines okay. and 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 the general attitude of the character. I think yeah. I think like when he says like choti cheezi vade vade kaam karti hai. It's really cool. I mean, yeah. when you think about it, it's it's just that's just the nature of the guy. Yeah, you know, he's just like that. And very, I love the attitude yeah. of the character. I yeah. think the attitude of the character is something which is very like I would want to be like that. Like, <laughs> I can't be like that. Like he doesn't care. He doesn't <laughs> care about anybody or anything. Mm -hmm. Your turn, Sanakshi. 
Um, yeah, he's just a very, very likable character. Yeah. I think people are going to connect with him right from the very start because he's the kind of guy who doesn't take himself too seriously. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and um, he's really good at what he does. He's good at action. He's good at dancing. He's good at romance. Mm. He's like, and he's funny also. Yeah. So I think a lot of people will identify with the character and and like him. Would you like a guy like that for yourself in real life? Uh, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a guy <laughs> said, who, who comes, like him? <laughs> comes behind me and does, eh. <laughs> no, <laughs> not. <laughs> Mind just. No. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. I might be right. Uh, okay, we'll <laughs> come to the... You want somebody who constantly entertains you, na? Yeah. So, so that's full that's on full entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, full on entertainment 24-7. too bad. It's Actually, like a TV channel. He's funny also. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. My own personal entertainment system. You're a man who can tell me all the time. Not a bad idea. Yeah. And I anyway want someone who's going to make me laugh all the time. So there you go. Yeah. Okay, then maybe. Yeah. Somebody like Rajkumar. Except <laughs> the what? The what? We have to know this now. <laughs> you can't always keep doing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep doing that. It's <laughs> so cheesy. <laughs> No one like that. Without that is fine. Oh God, the sound effect was the too much. The sound is like... <laughs> <laughs> Shahid, we heard that your father is looking for a girl for you. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. He has no. no interest. He has no time. <laughs> you have no time? Or he, he has, has no... no interest and he has no time. And what about you? <laughs> I have no interest and I have no time. <laughs> As a family, interested. we have no interest and no time in this matter. So are you guys going to go and watch the movie, the theatres? I would love to. Let's yeah. go. We will go. First, you go. Then call me. Come. So sick. Tanga, 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 tanga. Come back, come back. Why? Why do I have to go first? Luck has to go first. <laughs> Good one. Tell me, are you going to go, Shahid? I don't know. I guess I will. Yeah. I mean, I've been told when I was starting this film. The Masi entertainer. You know, yeah, from the start, this goes. Don't see this film anywhere. Yeah. Go and see it with the audience. audience. Yeah. That is the yeah. only way yeah. you'll understand what this film is and what happens yeah. when these films yeah. are And Prabhu yeah. always goes and watches his films like first day for sure at theatres. Yeah. So we love Have you seen Akshay with all your previous films? Any I've, previous I've films? gone for Dabang and I've gone for Rowdy Rathod. After that, I couldn't go. <laughs> because uh, the kind of films that I've been a part of, the the crowd kind of goes Most ballistic. Mm -hmm. And I cannot hear the dialogues. I cannot hear anything when I'm in the theatre. But it's it's nice to what see. What a funniest comment what is back you've got. Shut up, I went for the people flowers and coins. Where they got flowers? I swear to God. They knew you were coming. No, no. I went for the bank. Shut up. So it was very, it's a mad experience. It's Okay, it was super talking to you all. Thank you so much for being on the show.